Now, before we start looking at any controllers, we need to understand that station, valve, and zone all mean the same thing. It basically means what you're, what valve you're operating, be it sprinklers or drip line or whatever it might be. But each of these controllers call it a different thing, but it really means the same. Now, this is our G Galcon GQ controller, which is available in four zone or eight zone versions. And as you can see, it's got a nice clear digital display with push buttons for setting. Little icons appear down the side here. So if you program it, you don't get lost. You'll know where you are. And obviously we've got the dial for setting the various things inside there as well. Now, this is a 24 volt AC powered unit, which means it plugs into the mains, water, uh, mains power supply and it connects to the controller. So anything past here, past this plug is 24 volts, so it's very safe. It also means that this can be outside because it comes with a weatherproof enclosure, but that must be inside, so don't forget that. Also, you can have the mini click type of rain sensor with this controller, which means that during periods of rainfall, if you don't want your system to operate, which most people don't, then it will uh, tell you, it will say on the screen that it's, it's going to suspend the watering and it will do so accordingly. And it saves your water bill as well. So to access the connections, we just remove this panel at the front and then you'll see a series of terminal connections or terminal screws there. So you've got your power supply in here, you've got the rain sensor input on there, and then you've got some commons and some valve outputs there. So on this one, we've got four valve outlets, so we can operate up to four valves. We've also got a backup battery supply, which is a little nine volt battery. That retains the clock information and the programming information. But these controllers are very clever because even if you disconnect the battery, the programming information will still be retained. It'll just be the clock you need to reset. This also has an additional feature. It's got a little reset button here. So if you actually, when you're doing the wiring connections, you make a, a bit of a, a, a boo-boo with it and it shorts, you can just reset the whole panel again. As I say, nice clear digital display to alter uh, time, for example, here, you move it around here, then by various pushings of those buttons, then you can alter the time settings. Again, you can set weekly times on this. You can run um, uh, on weekly, daily, odd days, even days. And on this one, you can do a cycling as well. So you can do one day up to 30 days. So a, a constant cycling of it, which makes it uh, are very straightforward. Start times again, you can set uh, those quite easily. Um, and duration, you can have a run time from, for each valve or each zone for one minute up to four hours on this controller. There's also got a seasonal adjust, which means that you can globally change all of your run times for your valves or zones uh, by setting this and then altering it up or down as the case may be. So that means you globally increase your watering times or decrease them. And at the height of summer, you might want to up them. And if it's uh, you know getting quite dull, you might want to decrease them. And that's a valid point. Don't just put your controller on and, and set it in April and then expect it to operate all summer long. You do need to come back and just up those seasonal adjusts if we have a decent summer. This has also got a rain off button so you can simply come to the controller put that into rain off and it won't operate the controller at all so you haven't reset anything in there you just turn the dial you've got a manual setting as well which means you can run any of the valves or zones that you've got manually which makes it easier uh, tests for when you first do it or you're setting up first of all uh, and then you've got an off a total off button there what you'll also notice is I've got a little icon here which shows a power point or a power plug and it means I haven't got any main supply into it, a, a good point. And a lot of these controllers will indicate on the display what the problem is if, if you come across it. So always check that you can, you know, if it's not operating, is there a little icon on there? Is the power being turned off? Is the rain sensor operated? So very simple controller, very nice and neat uh, uh, and one that we use quite often.